Now we're ready to use um, trigonometry to find the opposite side using the sine. Now for the opposite side, we'll use the magnitude of Wx. The hypotenuse is still 5. And we have the sine of 70. Five times the sine of 70. That's 4.7 in magnitude. Now we have to find the sine components. Well, we've determined that w sub x is pointing in the down right direction. w sub x is pointing down right. That's also what this x axis is pointing in, down and right. So w sub x is pointing in the positive direction positive 4.7. All right, so here we have our components. Again, if you're not including the correct sign, then your answer is not correct. Something I've had occasion to mention a few times is that uh, a common mistake that students make is to assume that you use cosines for x components. Usually, usually, we do use cosines for x components. So students get lazy and they assume that they're always going to use the cosine for the x component. But that's not true. Here's another example where we use the cosine for a y component. And by the same token, although we usually use sine for y components, here's an example where we use sine for the x component. So you can't assume that sine means x and cosine means y. You have to think about the details of each individual problem. If you have any difficulty, label the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse to figure out where to use the sine and where to use the cosine. All right, so the new issue that this problem is introducing is axes that are neither horizontal nor vertical. Uh, and this is not an advanced technique. This is a basic technique that you need to master in physics. So if this problem gave you difficulty, don't go on. Instead, redo it. Keep redoing this problem from scratch with a fresh piece of paper until it's easy for you. Not just easy to get the magnitudes, but also to get the signs. I think one of the hardest parts here is just drawing the right triangle. Well, it just comes with practice. Um, keep practicing until you can easily get through every step of this problem. Drawing the right triangle, figuring out the magnitudes, figuring out the signs. One thing I think was a little tricky here was finding the arrows on the components. I don't know if I gave the very best possible explanation for that. I hope my explanation was good enough. Um, but if it wasn't, uh, you better go someplace else and get a better explanation. Make sure you understand how to find the uh, directions of the arrows on the components here. Um, when uh, we're dealing with axes that are neither horizontal nor vertical.